Hi there, Aries. I'm waking up. I'm waking up. I'm here to do your reading. <laughs> you know what's funny? Do you ever find yourself watching a YouTube video and you don't know what, what the fuck they're talking about? But there's just something about the, the way that somebody's expressions are. It's like so intriguing. And you're like, this is a really interesting person. And I, I was doing that this morning. And I was I find myself like five minutes into a video and I'm like, you know what? I really still don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with your reading as, as to being like sometimes just around people where you're like, I don't really know you or I don't know what you're trying to say, but there's something about your energy that's keeping me here. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. That was just, it was kind of funny to me today. Because usually I'm like, flip, 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 flip. And then <laughs> this time this person, they were just so, they were so dramatic. But like in a, in a there was this guy who was like in a, a really, he was real gloomy. So he was like, and then this happened. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, this is hilarious. All right. So maybe I watched it for the wrong reason. But anyway, Burr. It is, oh, it's kind of cold today. It's kind of cold this morning. There's some burr energy into your tarot. What we have, we have for Aries, opening up to Aries. Do you have private readings, guys? Those are $24. Let me just insert that. $24, right? Yes, I send you a private reading recorded for you based on what you ask me to ask the cards and so we're gonna get into these cards Ooh. I'm sorry it really is cold like it, <laughs> I'm cold it's like it's those uh it's that period of weather you know where you're like <clears throat> I wish the heat was on but not really because the air is gonna be on later it's like one of those things wow Okay. All right. We can deal with this. Yeah, yeah. it's like I'm out of I'm out of there. <clears throat> That's what your reading is saying is I'm out of there. Uh <laughs> we have the devil in the past energy here. I think that this is about planning and strategy here more than ever. I'm just I mean, unless you're dealing with things that are attached to the earth um, or uh, addictions or vices, you know, you could have, who doesn't have something that they're dealing with, right? I mean, in some way, shape, or form. So this is in the past, but I feel like it's strategy because it leads to the star. So making a solid plan a strategy for yourself is here the queen of pentacle in the reverse is the underlying issue for some that can be an overbearing mother and um, or a person who's not very compassionate but they're supposed to be in some type of mother role to you uh it can be energies that are around you it can be somebody who's not very great with money um that it's not very good with their resources. It can be an interfering energy in my love readings. It can be an underlying issue of somebody ch that's trying to get in the way, but I don't necessarily see that either here. Whoa. All right. Page of Swords wants to come out. So some kind of news, some kind of news come into you. The star is your issue. This is a really good, this is an extremely good issue to have, especially with the three of cups being your challenge. So, I mean, it's like saying, look, you should be dancing, celebrating. There's so much abundance coming to you. Finding the right friend group might be an issue for you at this time. Um, especially, you know, if you get, if you're getting triggered, then just, you be around somebody that you don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and just enjoy what you have to enjoy. Um, the star is like your your wishes coming true. I don't know if it's cold or what, but something's got me really goofy. 
this morning. Okay, so then I have the Four of Swords as the heart of the matter. All right, something about the friend group, something about the star. This is a wish granted and on, the, on a broad term because it's something from long ago coming, manifesting. It represents hope. It's a good card. Um, it's a good card. Like I said, there's just something about a friend group here, an issue with a friend group. <clears throat> you're still healing. You could be healing from things people have said in the past. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so, I mean, it's very obvious what's going on here. You, So you're healing. Your heart is healing. It is essential to take time out for rest. It is essential to look at that as part of your job. Part of your work is, is relax, rest, and meditation. Um, and like whatever way you're able to do that, the page of swords can represent getting better connected with your body to, uh, interpreting signals that you get. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. I have the three of pentacle in the environment. This would be about laying down the groundwork, possibly getting some more, um, skills or, uh, doing your own research could be something like that. The nine of wands as the goal and destiny spot is in the reverse. So, and, and this is where all of a sudden I see a like a, a spiral of manifestation. I see that because I see the nine of wands in the reverse, which is like somebody saying no more bullshit, no more, <clears throat> you're not hurting me. I'm not putting up my defenses. I'm like, I'm no more energy towards this. Uh, whatever this is and we'll get more into that because of viewing something as like this is a hopeless situation i don't think this has to do with you being pessimistic at all i think this has to do the page of cups reverse has to do with you being very realistic with yourself of what it is that you want because look you're in the king of wands upright meaning that you're completely okay with like what you are building okay yeah it's just like when it comes to other energies, your defenses, you're you're pulling them back. You're just like, no. It's not that it's not that you're not gonna defend yourself. It's just that you're not gonna stand up and fight and go forward for something that you deem to be a, a fairly hopeless situation. And I'm like I mean that in the best sense because this is leading you more into how you're feeling, which is what you're wanting to build. And then it just goes from there to saying that your hope is the world this new chapter, right? And then the outcome is, yeah, no more pushing forward and advocating and standing up for energies, these three cups that you don't support, right? No more of that and you're leaving. You're at six of swords out of that place. So this is you listening to your intuition and saying, I'm getting the, I'm getting out of Dodge. <clears throat> getting out of uh, Dodge, getting out of Dodge. Okay, it's starting to warm up now. Good. Tell me about this page of cups. Future energy. Page of wands. It's because there's a there's something new and you get good news. There's all these pages, there's all these people and opinions and things like that. Maybe that message in the beginning of the reading was like there's all these other opinions. And here's you like, okay, well, I'm going to focus on this. I'm going to focus on the good news. I'm going to focus on my passionate new beginning, this spark, this playfulness. Um, and, and I think, and that works for you is what I think. And it works for you. What about the uh, groundwork? What are we laying down the groundwork for? Three of Pentacles, please tell me. The, for new friend group, what did I say? Three, three, three. Six of Swords, again, she is two Six of Swords, two Three Cups. It's a major confirmation for you. It should be to say that, yes, there are, um, there's soul family out there that will resonate with you better, that will be actually trying to maybe achieve the same things that you are. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, meaning like on a soul level, there are certain things that we come here to overcome. <clears throat> And this has something to do with your friend group or who you're surrounding yourself with. 
I see that getting, if it's not already starting to get better, um, then it does. It gets a lot better, especially when you listen to your intuition, tap into your body here, uh, listen to the signals, listen to yourself as you heal, as you pray, as you meditate, whatever it is that you do to get connected to yourself, to rest, to healing. Okay, tell me about these two, um, the Seven of Wands Reverse and the Nine of Wands Reverse. Tell me about that. The King of Swords, yeah, you're put, you, putting your foot down. Like, this King of Swords, they have all the information. They're very knowledgeable. I think, I think this is you here, Aries, because, of course, everybody knows Aries is a, a very confident sign. Um... They always reminded me, growing up, they always reminded me of uh, the air sign, uh, you know, um, group, <laughs> just because they, uh, my dad is an Aries and he's so intellectual. So being very smart, using your brain, being wise, being diligent, having determination, it's going to get you everywhere. And it's like, this is just how it is. And you are so focused on what you're building and the education um, no matter how you're getting it, like using your education, using your intellect, that you make some really decisive, this is what's logical, um, and you're master of it. So, oh, you could be doing a lot of um, mastering the thought, right? Mastering thought, mastering the mind. Um, Times in life where we can cast it aside and call it an ego death. And then there's times where we have to reintegrate, right? So this is reintegrating to me. This is being able to use everything and, and then being like a master of it. Anything else you want to give us with this? It's very authoritative. It's very like I'm making a decisive. Wow. And then the king of wands again, you have mastery all over this. Maybe that's what's being revealed to you is you have mastery. The, the, Court cards um, indicate here with the king that you have this um, ability to know what action to take, especially when it comes to what you want to build. It's like a master builder number. It's inspirational. It's wealthy. Um, and, and yeah, you're very, very smart. You're very smart. You're a master here. You're a master. Oh, now it's getting hot. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. That's what happens when I start these readings. That's what happens. All right, so let's just get a little bit more information on this main issue. Heart and home. Okay, so it's about a happy home, security, love, kindness, family, belonging, bliss, contentment, comfort, established, fulfilled, legacy, boundaries affection peace your heart's desire and longevity it's what you're going for and i think you're going towards it but it, and it feels like you're either if you're not leaving physically then you're leaving a, a way of thinking behind that was more stormy for you than good <clears throat> hey i have and then mastery right yeah mastery fishing pole self-reliance self uh self-improvement exploration providing connecting with nature that might be also a, a message of, of how you can really relax and get some natural healing into yourself as you know through nature and this situation is happening now the event in question is happening now so new friend new friend groups new partnerships new 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 is what i see on the cards for you and the biggest things that are being pointed out is, one, your king of wands, because that came out in twos. So this is something that's really being pointed out as to, yes, you can build it, whatever you want to build, it will be very successful. You're already feeling this energy of, I'm building something and it's it's uh, going to be very successful. And you're inspiring others as you do so. Child in the reverse. Tell me more about child in the reverse. Wealthy man in the reverse. What? Okay, there's a... Oh, okay. Oh, 
Oh, even even more interesting, actually. <clears throat> oh, who is she? Or oh, who is he? That's what I'm getting from this. This is the this is the pair. This is the divine masculine, the divine feminine. Um, they're focused on their money. I'll tell you that. Because it's the it is the wealthy woman, it is the wealthy man, and there's nothing um you can still have spiritual growth and, and focus on wealth also. And these energies I feel like have not come together yet. That is probably why it is in the reverse. Like this is a two it is a two come type of thing. There may be a spirit child, or this might represent what is to be a new beginning when these energies actually do come together. Whatever has been taken from you energetically, whatever you feel like, whatever kind of deception you're able to see through it, you're able to see through it. That's probably why you're not giving energy to it anymore or the people that are deceptive, like you're not giving energy to that anymore. And there is great fortune to come no matter if these energies decide to come together or not. No matter if you decide to pair up with somebody or partner with anybody, it kind of doesn't matter. This great fortune is going to come anyway. Um... If for some there is like a spirit child trying to come through or wanting to, what is it, wanting to be born, maybe. Okay, I have gavel, conviction, decisions made, pay attention, offer accepted. Hmm, if there are legal issues, this uh, king of swords would definitely be a professional or somebody that can help you. Important decisions, and it's definitely time for chess. Time for you to look at your moves strategically and, um, yeah, planning, checkmate, grand design, master plan, a course of action, a power play, consequences of actions. I personally like speed chess better and there's not much room for strategy when you're playing speed chess. I mean, unless you're like, what's his name, Angus, 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 uh, Anyway, there's like, I watch some chess and, and there are some people, I'm sure they have a strategy, but when I'm playing, I like to play fast and I don't have a strategy at all. Um, so either way, but just know that you're playing chess. <laughs> either way, either way. All right, let's get a angel number for you. What is happening now? What is happening now? Something's about to get more fun, I feel like. Especially if you're getting away from that energy, that Queen of Pentacles energy in the reverse. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn. We also have all fixed signs here with the world. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Um, but nice. Oh, nicer. I have one. You're a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunity. Your determination and endurance are powerful. Will help you get through the rough times and reach success. And then I have one, one, one. Angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor, so you can co-create with the universe a life you love. I am creative. One, one, one. Angels really want to help you with this. And that's what I've got for you today, Aries. I'm sending you light and love, and so like and subscribe. Bye.